Ziggy Air Tree Alpha Romeo Ocala Tower, winds tree 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 at 6 runway 26, cleared for takeoff. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to Ziggy Air. Today we are at Ocala International Airport in Florida, and we're going to take a VFR flight to Cedar Key, and it's going to be about 15 minutes or so. But I'm going to take the opportunity to show you uh, the part two of my review of Say Intentions AI. And I've been using it uh, a couple of times and I've been learning how to use it and I've been getting more comfortable with communications with ATC. So I want to pass this along to you if you're thinking about getting uh, Say, Say Intentions AI or you're using it and you're uh, still not sure of how to you know, use it very uh, well uh, in your flights here. So I'm going to do a very simple VFR flight. We're going to talk about effective communications from this particular airport, which is a Class D airport in Class uh, D sp airspace. And we're going to a um, uh, an untowered airport uh, on a Class E airspace. First thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to ATIS. We're going to call then we're going to call ground and request departure to the west for VFR flight. And after that we'll get instructions. I'm sure they will get us to tower and all that. Then uh, after we get uh, to tower and tower gives us clearance for departure, we'll contact Jacksonville approach request a VFR flight following to Cedar Key and then once we get close to Cedar Key within 10 miles or so we'll switch to the common frequency there and uh, then set our landing at Cedar Key. Always we've got Siggy on as a co-pilot. Unfortunately the DI, DA-42, uh, I don't know why you can't see uh, the pilot or co-pilot in here. So, but anyway, uh, we are not going to do all the startup procedure, although it's very easy to do. We're just going to get this started quickly. And, and the focus of this video is just going to be say intentions AI. Uh, I'm going to push back because I don't want to kill anyone here. Uh, so let's do a tug here and a push back. We're good to go. Set the parking brake. Get back into the plane. And we're just going to hit Control E. And get the plane started. This plane is fairly easy to start, so it's not an issue. But I just don't want to go through the whole procedure at this point. Uh, that's good. We got two good starts over here. Set the AV master on. All right, so uh, we'll get the pitot heat on. And then set our communications to ground. So let's see. So one thing that it disappears. So if you haven't seen uh, my previous video, you can go up and click the link on it. Uh, I, I go into this a little bit more in detail. But here is the interface here. It gives you some idea. Uh, some, uh, it gives you, a, a, you know, information about your uh, frequencies and, you know, all of that. So it's very useful. So we have to pick up our ATIS here and we'll dial it in at 128.125. Arrow zero foot broken at two zero 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 foot solid overcast at tree one zero zero foot temperature one six. Dew point one five. Altimeter two nine or nine or two dot visual approaches in use. Advise on course heading altitude and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information kilo. Alright, so Ocala we have information kilo. information kilo. Alright, a couple of things. We got information kilo. 
And we also got a, uh, uh, they requiring us to contact and request flight following right from here. So that's a little bit different. This is a class Delta airport. So uh, they might have a different procedure here because uh, usually you pick up your flight following with uh, uh, the, your departure, in this case, Jacksonville departure. So let's get um, this contact uh, ground. And the thing to remember here uh, when you're um, setting up communications, um, especially on the ground, is uh, just follow the three important things. Who you are, where you are, and what do you want to do. So in this case, we're going to tell them that we're CG Air 1, November 1123 Alpha Romeo. We are at parking spot number 40 with information kilo. Like to request VFR fly following to Cedar Key. And that's what we're going to say. All right, so let's get the let's get that going with them and Ocala Ground, Air November 1123 Alpha Romeo at parking number 40 with information Kilo requesting VFR flight following to Cedar Key. Here we are to see what the response time is here. Clear to Cedar Key, VFR at or below 4,500, departure on 118.6, squawk 6524, November 1123 Alpha Romeo. Alright, let's get that into the instruments here. And we're going, first thing we're going to do is squawk. Alpha Romeo read back, correct? Great. 6524. And we're going to report altitude. 6524. Uh, we're going to stay on the. We're going to dial in our tower. Yes. Let's stand by here. That is a. 119.25 all right let's keep it on standby here and then we're going to request uh, taxi to the active runway ocala ground november 1123 alpha romeo requesting taxi to the active runway a little bit of lag time here. I, I would expect that they would respond a little quicker than this. So just thinking, thinking, thinking. Ziggy Air Tree Alpha Romeo, taxi to runway 26 via Echo Bravo contact tower on 119.25 when ready for departure. Taxi to runway 26 via Echo Bravo contact tower on 119.25. Sea Gear one one two three Alpha Romeo. All right, so let's uh, let's go to Echo, which is here, and then we go to Alpha to runway twenty six, and then we'll contact Tower at that time. All right, so far so good. Let me get this started here, and. We'll dial in our altitude for our autopilot here at, let's do 4,000, let's do 4,000. One thing about this plane, it, it really likes to go, even at idle, it just moves. 
So I have to you have to keep it you have to keep it in check with your brakes. So this is echo, so we're going into we're gonna take a right on alpha here. All right, one thing about my experience so far with this is I think it's been great. And one uh, one thing I like is that I'm, it feels that I, like I'm going from a passive type of ATC with the default ATC and the one that I use the most, which is FS HUT. Those are, they are all passive types of um, in, in, uh, interface or interactions with them. So you, you you read what they're telling you in a text um, or what they say or you you click on if you want to change your uh, departure settings and things like that this is uh, a really more active experience with uh, say AI and say intentions AI you're just you're communicating you're talking you're uh, you have to think ahead of uh, um, of what you want to say you have to plan in terms of um, the things that you want to um, communicate to ATC and uh, you have to learn the lingo you have to be comfortable with it you have to practice so even though say intentions AI is, is fairly uh, uh, it gives you a break it doesn't um, it doesn't punish you for not using the right terminology they they'll come back to you and they'll understand what you're trying to do so um, but it's really good to to have this um, to practice and to have the correct terminology so it's great so far it's been great so we are here at Alpha uh, runway 26 we'll contact Tower let them know that we're here and we want to take off. All right. Uh, Ocala Tower, Sigier November 1123 Alpha Romeo at runway 26, ready for takeoff. Air Tree Alpha Romeo Ocala Tower, winds tree 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 at 6 runway 26 cleared for takeoff. After departure fly runway heading until reaching 4500, then proceed on course to Cedar Key. It's clear for departure. After departure fly runway heading until reaching 4500, then proceed on course to Cedar Key. See here, November 1123 Alpha Romeo. All right. Fantastic. All right. Let's set 4500 as instructed. One thing I noticed, I, they didn't give me a Q and H. Interesting. All right, we'll set the Q and H automatically. I think they should have told me that my readback was correct and that's quite okay, okay. all right we're all set let's set power all 
power set. Right rudder. A little bit too much. Left rudder. We get a little bit of a crosswind here. B1 rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Go to 92% climb right here. Um, I'm gonna Tricky Air Tree Alpha Romeo contact departure. Contact departure. Thank you, Tower. So they didn't give me the uh, frequency for departure, so, but we have that at. 118.6. No, they did give me that. Uh, so. Ziggy Air Tree Alpha Romeo, good day. 118.6. Jacksonville Departure, Ziggy Air November 1123 Alpha Romeo at 2500 two, two, for 5500. See what Jack's departure has to say. Ziggy Air Tree Alpha Romeo Jacksonville departure. Climb and maintain 5,500. Proceed on course to Cedar Key. Climb and maintain five. Climb and maintain 5,500. Proceed on course to Cedar Key. Ziggy Air November 1123 Alpha Romeo. See, sometimes you get a little bit. Uh, um, confused here and all right so let's go to 5,500 let's bring down our climb rate we guess to it's a little bit too harsh on our climb rate here all right, so we're heading for a Cedar Key, uh, and so far so good in terms of communications. Um, like I said, sometimes you get tongue-tied and you say the wrong things, but that's okay. Uh, say intentions AI is fairly um, forgiving about that, and the the thing is that you want to, you know, ask. Part of the whole preparation for oh, I'm not on GPS mode here. I just noticed that. Uh, part of your preparation in terms of flight planning and all that should be communications. You know what uh, you're gonna say, how you're gonna request it. Think about your airspaces where you are going to be flying into and out of uh, your flight uh, spaces in terms of your flight plan, and then plan accordingly in terms of communicate, communicating with um, with ATC. All right. So uh, once we get close to uh, Jackson uh, to Cedar Key. We're going to, let's say uh, that we're 15 miles from Cedar Key, we're going to um, set up communications with the uh, common frequency. Now, because we requested flight following, Jacksonville will um, drop us and will let us know once we're close to them. We say, you know, uh, flight following services terminated, contact. Cedar Key Common Frequency, blah blah blah. So we'll do that, or we can um, we can drop them if uh, at any point. Uh, it's not required that we do flight following. It is actually not required that they do flight following with us. It's up to them to do that. 
Uh, it depends on how busy they are and all of that. So, and they can drop us at any time. So we need to be prepared for that. So we are about twenty one miles from Cedar Key. We're twenty one miles miles east of Cedar Key. So we'll just wait another five miles uh, and start our descent. I wanna be able you wanna be able to be at your pattern altitude before you get there. Um, so you don't have you don't descend into the pattern altitude. You uh, want to join the pattern altitude at the pattern altitude you know, level flight there. So you know what I mean. All right. So so far so good, my friends. So yeah, I've been using FS HUD as my primary ATC service. One thing about FS HUD, it's it's uh, the developer has been, um, you know, pushing updates and all that, and it's it it was a better option than the default ATC. Now, uh, Beyond ATC is out there putting a lot of, uh, you know, very well done videos, but so far we haven't seen anything concrete except those videos a lot of hype from my perspective um, and that's just my opinion um, say intentions AI uh, has done a couple of videos uh, they put out this beta release free beta release they uh, have some videos uh, you know in terms of their um, training um, section there on their website you can watch uh, several videos they have three four of them there's some more uh, videos on uh, on uh, YouTube uh, but they've taken a little bit of different approach I think it's, it has been a great uh, move by them to put this out on beta release so people use it and people get used to it and people get comfortable So Jacksonville approach should be getting back to us within, I don't know, within the next couple of minutes. If not, um, we will go ahead and let them know we want to drop that fo flight following. Jacksonville approach, CGR November 1123 Alpha Romeo requesting termination of uh, VFR flight following. Romeo Roger. Radar services terminated. Squawk VFR. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Thank you very much. some communications with all of those um, pilots out there that are planning to land at Cedar Key. Point nine. Cedar Key, Sigier November 1123, three miles west of Cedar Key, approach uh, with intentions to land. Cedar Key, Sigier November 1123 Alpha Romeo, three miles south of Cedar Key to land. Cedar Key. Alright, let's get 
close to that pattern there basically give them exact positions um, and then as when we turn into base I'll give them uh, I'll do another uh, transmission uh, telling them that or telling anyone that's aren't there that I'm on base uh, so turning base is fairly easy um, in, ter in terms of knowing when to turn base uh, it's fairly easy you just want to be at a 45 degree angle to that um, speed is good we're good here at the 45 degree angle Cedar Key, Sierra November 1123, turning base. Okay, we got our flaps, first set of flaps. And we're gonna be turning final. I'm gonna let them know. Now, what I like to do is just to uh, let them know that I'm on final and not just to t tell them that I'm turning final. Because people will know exactly where I am once I say that. So let's turn final. Disconnect the autopilot. Gear down. Cedar Key, Sigier November 1123 on final. The next set of flaps. Make sure that I don't go below that 85. So we want to be 85 or so. In this particular airport, maybe 85 to 90 because it's short runway. And sometimes there are sailboats right on this bay here and you have to be careful. of a crosswind here. All right, not too bad. Wasn't expecting that crosswind so it's like almost 10 knots. All right, so not too bad. Too fast there. Cedar Cedar Creed, Sigier November one one two three. Taxiing to parking. Okay, let's get this cleaned up here. All right, so a little bit of a tight spot here. This, so I gotta go in here. Nice, nice, nice parking. Parking brake. Okay, so there you have it, my friends. Um, a full, short VFR flight into Cedar Key, and using 
a say intentions AI uh, as you can see it's um, it's not that difficult it's uh, you know uh, a great experience too in terms of being able to interact with the with ATC and have them get back to us and give uh, uh, they give us instructions and you know all, all of that is part of the immersion uh, experience here with say intention say uh, I think it's they come a long way I think that there are a couple of things that they they can improve here and I believe that they will do that as, as uh, they move along they uh, release uh, IFR um, coverage they will release coverage to the rest of the world right now it's only the US but so far so good now, if you like this video did you, and you feel that you got something out of it, um, some good information, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we have fun videos. We have instructional videos. Um, sometimes we don't take any promotions. The only promotions that I do here in my channel is that I promote uh, pet adoption which is Sigi's cause here in terms of uh, promoting if you want to get a co-pilot uh, to fly along with you uh, remember that adopting is the best choice that you can do the same way we we adopted Sigi and that she's been a great co-pilot and I usually what I do when uh, we, I fly we fly into cities around the world or in the US that we promote uh, those shelters that um, that are in need of you know parents or uh, pilots to get their co-pilots and um, and the and also we are promoting and we have been doing this all along is one of my favorite uh, organizations is pilots to the rescue you can see some of my videos around pilots to the rescue and we have recreated some of their flights all right, my friends, thank you very much. And as always, um, if you have to fly, just fly Siggy Air. Because Siggy Air will get you there. All right, enough of that. Thank you very much, my friends, and have a great, great afternoon.